How do you know you have a bad EGR valve that's either stuck open or stuck closed and it's time to replace it? Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. How do you know it is time to change your EGR valve? There are two types of EGR. Number one is either going to be vacuum controlled or number two is going to be electronic controlled. If the EGR is vacuum controlled, it's going to use vacuum to bring exhaust gas to go straight into the intake manifold. So basically a typical vacuum controlled EGR is going to contain a diaphragm, it's going to contain a plunger, a spring, and valves. If the EGR is electronic, it's going to contain a solenoid on the EGR which is controlled by the computer. So basically the computer is going to energize the solenoid to open up the EGR. Again, it's going to allow exhaust gas to flow straight into the intake. At this point, you're probably wondering what's the purpose of having EGR? Well, basically EGR is very important to help reduce emission. So basically the EGR helps reduce nitrogen oxide, also known as NOx, a main contributor to smog and pollution. In addition, the EGR helps to reduce engine combustion temperature. It also helps improve engine efficiency and also it helps improve gas mileage as well. When there's something wrong with the EGR, whether it's vacuum control or electronic control, and when the EGR is either stuck open or stuck closed, the driver's going to notice all sorts of symptoms. The first sign that you know that there's something wrong with the EGR, number one is going to be the check engine light is going to turn on and you're going to get some sort of EGR codes. If the EGR is stuck open, this is going to cause a lean mixture in the air and fuel mixture. So if the EGR is stuck open, it's Driver's going to notice rough idle, driver may notice low idle, may notice erratic idle, driver's also going to notice possibly an engine misfire as well. In addition, driver's going to notice stalling as well. If the EGR valve is stuck closed, this is going to cause a much higher engine combustion temperature. So when engine combustion temperature is a lot higher, this is going to cause peeing, detonation, and driver's going to hear knocking noise coming from the engine. Moreover, a driver may notice strong fuel smell as well. So when there's something wrong with that EGR valve, it is time for inspection. For example, one of the most common problems that causes the EGR valve to fail is going to be carbon buildup. So basically just to fix the EGR, all you have to do is just remove the EGR valve and all you need is carburetor cleaner or throttle body cleaner and just clean the EGR passages. If you clean out the EGR passages, this may actually fix the issue. While you're inspecting the EGR valve, make sure to check the vacuum hoses as well. Make sure to check connection as well. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Water Repairs.